Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? No, no, muy bien. Yes. Ay, dice, me duele la cabeza y siento una presión horrible. Ay, no. Voy a estar doliente un ratito, me acabo de tomar una pastilla, ojalá me pase, pero si sí no me quiero perder la clase tampoco. Póngase algo de hielito en la cabeza, puede ser que hoy hizo demasiado calor. Sí, porque si sí es una presión aquí en todo esto, horrible. Y la siento como dormida. Sí, se le ve el ojo. Es que sí, aquí siento dolor. Entonces, este, voy a estar escuchando la clase, pero espero que me haga efecto la pastilla. Sí, ya tomó algo, ya tomó pastilla. ¿dice? No, de la neurobión, porque por si sí es nervioso. Uh -huh. Sí, porque se le ve más pequeño ese ojo. Sí, es que me siento como dormidito. Híjole. Sí. Que tener... Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Y póngase algo heladito en la cabeza, eso le puede ayudar, porque sí eh, ha estado haciendo demasiado y calor. Es probable porque si es como presión así de... Ajá, bien raro. Y ha tomado bastante líquido. Sí, siempre, Tichera, que hace un calor horrible, siempre. Sí, 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 sí. Ahorita, aquí empezó a querer llover, ya ni llovió, solo se alborotó el calor. <ríe> y el ventilador que yo tengo. Y eso cuando uno respira, eso... Ese vapor quizás se va también, ¿verdad? Y afecta aún. Sí, sí, eso afecta bastante. Pero póngase algo heladito, eso le puede, le puede ayudar. ¿verdad? Sí, 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 sí. Estoy haciendo efecto también. Sí, sí gracias. Aquí. Vamos a ver, class number 21. 21. Adriana Marcela, hello. Adriana Marcela. Ana. Good evening. Good evening. Ana, ¿verdad? Carlos Josué. Yes, I am. <laughs> Carlos Josué. No está. David. Presente, <coughs> Chora. Eh, Diego. <coughs> Diego, Diego. Presente, Chora. Teacher. Teacher. Eh, Diego. La primera hora voy a estar doyente, voy a de camino. Ok. Thank you. Bueno. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. No. Gema Carolina. Mam. Mhm. Mm no está. 
Jessica. Jessica, no. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen, no here, Karen. Carla Lorena, ¿Aquí, sabe, ¿aquí alguien sabe algo de Karen? ¿Mm? ¿Alguien sabe de Karen? Karen Stephanie. No. Porque ya lleva varios días. ¿Verdad que no la vemos por aquí? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Sí, esta semana ya es tercer día que no la vemos. Carla Lorena. Lice Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Oscar. No está Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Bacha. Ahí estamos. Vamos a ver si está bien después de que lo llamé. Adriana. Good evening, teacher. Adriana. 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 No. Eh, Carlos Josué. El Fabricio. Present teacher, I'm here. Ok, nice. Emma Carolina. Gracias. Jessica Lisette. Michelle Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Teacher. Hola. Good evening. Me saltó hace un rato y me saltó otra vez ahorita. No le creo. O ya me puso. <ríe> le puse present. Yo oí que alguien, nah. alguien me contestó present por usted. Entonces. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Bueno, ya sí le escuché. ¿Verdad? Sí. sí. Ah, es pues. que a mí no me dijo. Ay. Yo soy Mario Alberto José Carlos. ¿El que más? <ríe> Sí. Ya, por eso no me pone. Está bien, Tichi. Está bien. Ay, no, o sea, Alberto, sí, ya le puse present. Dice. Ah, va. Thanks. Ya le puse present. Qué barbaridad. Carla Lorena. <risa> no, ya. Oscar Mauricio. Sí. Present, Tichi. Okay. <coughs> Rodrigo. No. Pacho. Ok, bueno. <coughs> ok, pacha. Eh, bueno, I, this is our class number 21. And remember that yesterday eh, I told you we're going to listen to some people that we couldn't hear yesterday. So let's see my, my first volunteer. Yes, let me share. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Remember your homework? Yes. We said write a line paragraph uh, to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. And state at least three reasons to support your position. Three reasons for being against or three reasons for being in favor. Yesterday, we listened to a couple of you, so I would like to listen to a couple more. Who will be my volunteers? Volunteers? <clears throat> uh -huh. Jose Alfredo? José Alfredo se nos perdió. Teacher, sinceramente, I olvidé. Okay. Eh, eh, tell me in your own words, will you be in favor or against? Era a favor o en contra de... About de, employee de ¿Cómo? About employee surveillance at your workplace. Um, in favor. Why? Why? Uh, security. Uh, um, ¿Cómo digo? Es que monitorear que se esté haciendo un buen trabajo. Monitor. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, a good job and okay, following the the protocol of security uh -huh. for evitar accidentes. To avoid accidents, yes. Mm, solamente. Okay. 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 Yes, definitely. Uh, the camera can help us, right? For that supervision can also help for, for that, right? For avoiding accidents. Excellent. Thank you, Fredo. Another volunteer victim Who wants to be the next. <clears throat> volunteer? Que sea victim. Victim. Okay. Can you choose the victim? Anna. Anna. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everybody. Jose Alfredo. <laughs> um, yesterday, I was saying that I am agree about in. You agree. About, excuse me. You agree. Yes, I am agree because mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Sí, I agree. No, I am agree. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. Fíjense que en Spanish nosotros. Este es como cuando dice usted, yo tengo 10 años. Tengo 10 años. <ríe> I am, right? I am 10 years old. No dice, I have 10 years old. Igual aquí usted dice, I agree. No, I am. No, es, no lo traduce literal como yo estoy de acuerdo, sino que yo de acuerdo, right? Solo I agree. I agree, I agree. o I don't agree, o I disagree. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. So I agree. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Okay. I, I was writing. Yes. Uh, I'm in favor about employee surveillance at workplaces because that support when you need a, an explanation about something that it's happened and support you to following instructions and uh, the best way to do your your work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if somebody says you did something, you can say, no, look at the camera. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, very good. Okay, Anna, choose the next victim. Hmm. Ay, well, Ting Marin. Ting Marin. No queremos que la tigre fue yo, no fui. Pégale, pégale, que este. 
Ay, lo siento, fue eh, Rebeca Marcela. <risa> ok, Rebeca. Ok. <risa> um, I am agree too. I agree. I agree. Uh, I agree, uh -huh. I agree too. Uh, for example, in my workplace, um, all the areas are monitor monitored by camera uh, for the for the same safety of the all employees and also to take care of all the devices used for to work for work. Exactly, that's a good way for taking care of the electronic devices, right? That you use. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Very good. Any, uh, well, a ver, you choose the next victim, Rebecca. <clears throat> Who's next, Rebecca? Tell me, Grace who? Grace. Grace Michelle. Vaya Grace to turn. Grace Michelle. Grace Grace. No está quizás Grace. Grace Michelle, hello. Grace, Grace. Ah, pues no, escojamos a otro. No está en clase ahorita ahí. Eh, choose another one. Um, I Jessica. Jessica, Lisa. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica, Lisette. Jessica. No está tampoco. Another ball, another victim, Rebecca. Estamos destapando los que están conectados, pero no están en clase ahorita. Uh -huh. A ver. No, I'm not looking with my Tiene choice. buen ojo. Tiene buen ojo para, para escoger a los que están conectados, pero que no están en clase. I'm so sorry. <ríe> a ver, a ver. Nubia. Ay, yo. <laughs> okay. okay, I agree in favor because more control in all the workplace. Mm -hmm. Monitor that each employee work. You mm, have more control. <laughs> of the food and drinks um, that are needed in the restaurant or another company, raw material, mm -hmm. you have most control. Ay, no hay tal verdad de que pase con lo de que el cocinero se llevaba las cosas. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Excelente. Thank you. Who's the next okay. victim, Nubia? Quiero ver quiénes están. Vamos a ver. <coughs> ah, um, quiero ver. Edwin. A ver, Edwin. Edwin. I am in favor of Serbians to monitor employees in my workplace. 
uh -huh. uh, for security. There is coverage of the place where there is material and work equipment of great value with great value. values with which the main activities of the company are carried out uh, attendance control to um, verify the performance of the worker or the staff and evaluate the interaction of employees. Okay, very good. Yeah, you can see how the employees get along, right? And how they work too. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Edwin. Choose one more victim. <clears throat> De, veamos a José Alberto. José Alberto. Ok, thank you. Um, I'm in favor of serving of employees at work for the following reason. Number one, because it is a way to be sure that employees are doing their job. Number two, because it is a way of having evidence in case of any problem within the workplace. And number three, because it is a way to maintain the safety of the place and the employees. Okay, very good. Excellent. Imagine once I remember in the school where I work in the morning, we saw a boy, there was a boy, well, the boy entered, he was, a student from free courses but he entered to the school and he was offering something to the boy uh, to the girls from high school and I saw him and it sounded kind of strange to me and I said like go to your classroom I told them and the girls ran to the classroom and I went to report that a guy was talking with the girls because Free courses are not supposed to talk with the high school students, right? And they catch that the boy was a student, that he was trying to sell them sugar. And I said, like, what sugar? Hmm. To me, it sounded like kind of suspicious, right? And the cameras helped find where the guy had gone after he was talking with the girls. But imagine if we hadn't have cameras, it would have been very difficult to find him. So that is, as you say, that's part of the security and it's very important. If somebody enters, you can watch the camera and you can chase the person and see who entered, why that person should not be here, right? Because there are different areas for different students or in your company, different areas for different people, right? And there are some areas where you're not supposed to enter because you don't have anything to do there. And the camera can help you in that case, get to the place or get to locate, right? Somebody who is not in the appropriate place in a moment, okay? So unfortunately, that's part of the security that is necessary now, right? Okay, a ver, eh, one last volunteer or victim, Jose Alberto. Me, teacher, sorry. Where I was great. busy at the time, but in one to give my opinion. Okay, no se me pierda, Grace, que la estuvimos va de llamar y llamar y llamar. Yes, teacher, I was busy. Busy, sorry. Okay. I am in a favor of employees being able to monitor it because it is important mainly for the safety, also to warranty compliance with the work regimen and to support the employees themselves in case of 
eh, no recuerdo cómo se dice, acoso laboral, pero eso. Uh, harassment. Harassment labor. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. For many things, right? For many things, the camera can be of help. Definitely. I really, really agree with you. Okay, any questions? No questions? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Well, today, as you can see, we are talking about personal training vocabulary. Yes, personal training. And check. In your companies, we have been talking about that before. And you have told me that you have a lot of training, right? And sometimes you even feel tired of having so much training. I remember your comments from before. But the question is, how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training, okay? Personal, when we say personal, we're talking about all the people who work in that place, right? So how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? And the next question, are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace. Y ahí nos hace falta una G. Ajá. A ver, a ver. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? So you say, yes, there are a lot or oh, no, not many. We don't have much uh, training in the place where I work. So we already know what to do. So whatever, right? So you give your own opinion and you share with the rest of your partners. I'm going to send you right now. A, let's see, you are 17. Hmm. Teacher, excuse me. Tell me, Anna. The first question is about how someone identify you. You. How do you identify the necessity of training, right? Or the areas where the people need to be trained. For example, if you say, oh, you know what? We need training about the use of the new cameras. If you, if you are the one that is watching, right? Or we need training on how to use the new, the new equipment that we have gotten. So that's what you're going to discuss. How do you? notice that training is necessary mm -hmm. and in what areas do you know that training can be necessary mm -hmm. because the question is how do i identify so there are many areas where people need training right in the company but how do you identify those areas? What do you do? For example, English Corporativo, what they do is that they send you like uh, in, the, in the document that you complete, they ask you if you're interested in any other type of training. But what about in your job? Teacher. Uh-huh. When the, any area in the workplace, the work is a deficient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That would be a good way for, for having a training, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Another, another case, what, what else do you do? For example, some companies, they ask the employees, right? Uh, where, in what area would you like to receive a training? But in other companies, they watch or they observe what's going on and they may this, decide what, what, in what area you need training. For example, when we started in the 2020, right, March 2020, all the, the schools started giving training to the teachers, right, on how to work with the different platforms. So that was like a, an area of opportunity that in that moment required training. Right now, it has no purpose to go and say, listen, we are going to teach you how to, how to work online. If you have been doing, if we have been doing that for a long time, right? But in that moment, in the 2020, it was like a big necessity. And I think every school was worried about how to work with the students. How would the teachers uh, manage the, the new platforms, right? On what they were going to do. And the same in the different areas. I know many of you still uh, work uh, home office, right? Teacher. Uh -huh. But usually uh, the way that someone notices that need a training is about well at the end of some activity or period of time usually uh, have an evaluation and in base of that they say well we need this or this or that okay depending on the area that they see in that moment okay uh -huh. Is easy is is identified when the requirement on the position are defined. And you can see if the employee needs some training for to better performer. Okay, okay. Excellent. And what about when you are creating a new area of work? That would be a good a good chance for for a, for a training tool, right? Or if you're getting new employees, do you give training in your company? Do you give training to new employees? Yes, or are they is. supposed to know everything they are going to do? Mm -hmm. Depends in the area. Okay. In some areas, they receive a training, in others, no? In others, uh, but you can test, or, see, como prueba, for to meet the, the capacity. The capacity. Uh -huh. The capacity. Okay. For example, in call centers, if you want to work in a call center, first they give you a training, right? If you pass the training, then you have the chance to start working. If you don't pass the training, uh-uh. And then it's not possible, right? Now, check the next question. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Uh -huh. Are there a lot of training opportunities? In my case, no. In your case, no? No. Like updating about different things? Refreshing? No, no. Uh -huh. What about the others? Nobody has training opportunities? Yes, teacher. In, in, in my case, um, 
ah, como lo digo, este, frequently, o fre sí, así sería, frequently, we have a new products and we need learn all the issues for, for the new product. And this is a, a, a training opportunity for, for all the employees. Okay, very good. Excellent, thank you, Jose Alberto. Y se volvió a poner Alberto, ya vio, ¿verdad? <laughs> ¿Quién se cambia el nombre solito? <laughs> okay, let's see one more volunteer. Let's see, let's see quién anda por aquí bien callado ahora. Oscar. <coughs> Mi teacher. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace, Oscar? Yes, uh, <clears throat> my work is I opportunity try training. Mm -hmm. Um, como se dice, al al mon and and training because there is a magazine different different. Different, cada, cada, como si se cada. Each. So, where do you work, is Oscar? Hey, my work is, is on a labor, laboratory. Is different uh, magazine, magazine, uh, cada mes, como ama, cada mon. Different. Do you make magazines in your workplace? Do you, do you make magazines in the medicine? You the medicine. Ma no, magazines. You say magazines. Magazine. Hacen revistas. Mag revista. Oh, brochure. No, revistas. Oh. Ma magazine, the medicine. <coughs> oh. it, it, todo, every personal uh -huh. student. Student. Uh, every ounce. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, people should know what the, the product okay. magazine will be, right? Uh -huh. In my world is elaborative, is Lancasco. Mm -hmm. And I student, I student the magazine, the medical. Medicine Magazine. Medicine Magazine. Mm -hmm. Para. 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 For. Uh, 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 people. Um, people. <laughs> for um, selling the product you use. You use magazines for selling the products you mean. Yes. Yes. Uh, Bueno, en español se lo voy a decir. Aquí tengo que estudiar la revista cada mes para saber el producto y podérselo a mostrar al cliente o vendérselo de medicamento. Ok, ok. Yeah. Entonces, desde que, desde que entré en esta empresa últimamente, Los dos meses que tengo estoy estudian, estudian, estudian. But that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good because una... you're learning. Sí. You're learning. I, I'm, Oscar. I'm crazy about learning. Sí. That's very important. Uh -huh. Do you es describe una... the product in the magazine? Es, es una es una magazine de the medication, eh, shampoo, shampoo, cremas, mm. cremas para el body, para body el cream. Mm -hmm. body para todo, todo el cuerpo. Okay. 
Va a tener que, que, que hacernos a nosotros la, la prueba esa de, para ver qué tiene que <laughs> To demonstrate the product, right? We leave him that yes. product. Ajá, you see. Todos los meses son diferentes, diferentes magas previstas que hay que leer Different y aprenderse. Every month. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. So your training is not that somebody else gives the training, but you have to study on your own. Or they give you a training on the products. Training in, in, in the department, in uh -huh. the company, uh -huh. is the, is the the prepare, prepare, the prepare, prepare, come, prepare, prepare, uh, prepare, um, mercury, the, the pharmaco, and uh, pharmaco is, uh, pharmacias, pharmacia, the pharmacy, the pharmacy, the pharmacy. Uh -huh. or or personally okay like for the visitadores médicos too right okay más o menos pero es de cuando se lo explico en español pero es que en inglés me cuesta come on that's the idea uh, es de um, bueno, le vendemos el producto a, la, a las compañías o a, o a personas particulares, se le vende el producto, pero se les tiene que explicar de qué se trata el medicamento o los champú o las cremas faciales. Para que funcione. Ah, uno tiene que saber de, medica, de ese producto para poderlo vender. Y a la vez lo preparamos, lo preparamos y lo despachamos. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Yes. Prepare the yeah. Prepare. 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 Mm -hmm. Prepare. Launch. And launch the product. Launch the Oscar, product. it's like okay. catalog sales. Yes. <clears throat> Un catalog, catalog different. Yes. For, for, Mons. Like Avon. Like Avon, no. ajá. No. Es de la, es de la, es la, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah. Eh, la Sentia, Sentia Lancasco. Oh, ya sé. Yeah. Oh, Yo sí. ocupo ese producto bastante. Yeah. Entonces, Very uno good. ahí adentro de la compañía tiene que aprenderse bien las cosas que lo que lleva. Porque... Oscar, we have a business opportunity in this moment. Yo <laughs> sé. <laughs> in this group. Yes. Bien. Yeah, that's a very good product. I, I use it. Um, Please send what? me a list of all products and, and we can make a business. Vaya. Ahí está. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know which I use. There is a cream there that is anti-stress. Anti-stress. Yeah. Uh, anti since the beginning, remember at the beginning of the course that I was with a lot of pain on my shoulder, right? Tengo un desgarre, está rotito. But the pain was horrible. That's why at the very beginning of the course, my camera was closed very often because I was like, ouch. And I was like, ouch. And I didn't want you to, to look at me saying, ouch, right? So that's why I had my camera open and I had to move to the sofa and I had to stand up because of the same. But, and I bought a lot of creams and I was taking a lot of pills for the pain until I saw the catalog and I saw that cream, it's anti-stress, it has balsamo and I don't know what else. So that's it's the- It's like cream. That's the one I put. And then uh, I 
it relaxes and I can sleep well, very well, like a baby. So yeah, that's that's very good. They have a lot of products, not only creams. They have perfumes, they have creams, shampoo. I'm using one mm -hmm. that is made of, of onion. It's for, it's uh, crece mas. That's the one I'm using. Yes. <laughs> because I want my the, I cham I, I, I shampoo horse black. Black horse. Uh -huh. It's good. Ah, and it's I'm using a, a new product that I have tried of that uh, company that I am very happy with it. It's un desengrasante. It's, it's like a liter, like this. It's for, sí, cleaning sí. it's for cleaning the kitchen. It's Excellent. Excellent. Yes. So I have good references of the product. Very good. It's a very good product. Yeah. Okay. So send Alberto the, the list. <laughs> He's interested. You say. Please, how, to, to how my you, WhatsApp. Please. So you see, Oscar, how you train uh, your trainings that you have taken to learn about the products have worked, right? Mm -hmm. very, yes. very, very good. And, and something important, uh, Jose Alberto, you're thinking about uh, selling that product. There is nothing better than trying the product first. So if you're convinced with the product, you can sell it. If you're not convinced, mm -mm, nope. I tried the yeah, products right. myself. If I like them, I recommend them to another person. If no, I said like, well, I cannot recommend it. I'm allergic to a lot of uh, makeup. So uh, if, when I try a makeup that I am not allergic to, I can recommend it to people that say, no, I am allergic. Because all the things that say hypoallergenic, are not good for me. They give me allergy. <laughs> so if something says hypoallergenic, I feel like, oh, okay, no. I won't try it because I know it's going to be bad for me. <clears throat> if, if it says it's not hypoallergenic, okay, then I can try it. So that's why it's very important that you know the product that you're selling. And that's why these uh, training opportunities help right they help you know the products or the area especially depending on where you work the area where you work so you can know the product the best right it can be product or service that you're offering right okay nice now let's go to the conversation check uh, we have alex and rick talking here it says the dishwasher. This is a dishwasher person, <laughs> right? It's not the machine. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Remember, we continue in the area of restaurants, right? That's the area we're working. Okay, now you're ready to repeat after me. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. Uh -huh. The dishwasher I hired a month ago 
wants to know how, how to get to promoted. Get he asked me about training opportunities. He asked, he me, asked me about, about training, training opportunities. opportunities. Ah, very good. Ah, ah very, very good. good. You see. You see. You, you see. see. I want to schedule a service training for next month. I want to I schedule a service, a service training, training for next, for next month. month. And one for the cashiers. And, and one for the cashiers. For the cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Performance, performance this month, month, this month was, was not, not so good. Some customers complain about the about having to wait for too long. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Yes, I think servers need Let's identify your skills. Let's identify their skills. And knowledge. And knowledge. So we can include everything they need in their training. So we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. Let's, Let's do, do that. that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Identify. 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 Yes, se fue. Identify. 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 Okay, que es el opio. Okay, bueno. Así se lo voy a compartir en chiqui porque ¿Ve? no quiere la computer. Pacha. Okay, repeat identify. 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 Eh, cashiers. 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 Performance. Cashiers. Per performance. 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 Knowledge. <clears throat> Knowledge. 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 Everything. Everything. Opportunities. Opportunities. Servers. Service. Servers. Schedule. 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 Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Hired. 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 Okay. Well, I'm going to send you now to practice the conversation and do or discuss these questions, right? Discuss the following questions once you finish practicing. Who is asking for a promotion? What did the customers complain about? What staff will receive training? What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Okay, those are the four questions that you're going to be sharing or discussing. 
Let me see. Ahí está. 17 <coughs> 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 Vamos a ver, if hmm. we can make six groups. Or seven. Diego, Adrián, and... Rosy, okay. Present teacher. Uy, de verdad que voy a pasar lista antes de mandarlos. Oye, no se ven. Eh, Adriana. <coughs> Present teacher. Uy, yo guardé esta con... Eh, Analicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. David. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Ya está, todavía no ha llegado. Sí, teacher, ya estoy. Ah, ok. Yo igual ya estoy disponible. Ah, vaya, vaya, perfecto. Es que así sí ya lo puedo mandar en pareja, no en trío. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elmer Carolina. Y Jessica Lisset. Jessica. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. ¿Qué te me había hecho? Ay, dicho, viera que ahorita está cayendo una gran tormenta y ayer por lo mismo Uy, me pude conectar. Ya, ya. No me he conectado. Sí me conecté. Ah, no. No pude igual por la, la y el lunes venía a trabajar y se la quiero y es miércoles. El miércoles ya, ya vine tarde, el, perdón, el lunes ya vine tarde del trabajo. Ya no me da ya anda con la cuestión de que es viernes. Es viernes. Ay, es. Sí. <risa> y ayer más de captura que es un solo contacto no me dejaba entrar. Ok. Y ya viene la lluvia de nuevo. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. No está. Está bien dispuesta. No está, Carlita. No. No, ¿verdad? No, no estaba bien de salud. Ajá. Ok. Eliseta y Anara. No, no está. No, ¿verdad que no está? Liseta Yanara. Con conexión limitada, teacher. ¿Mm? Ahí está, ¿verdad, Liset? Sí. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Oscar. Present, teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present, teacher. Rodrigo. 
Rodrigo. Ana Grisel, Carolina, Grace. Present. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio, estamos muy bien. Bueno. Vamos a mandar por aquí. Que me quedó solito, José sea, Alfredo. Va, ahí está. Va, hoy sí, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Try to join. Remember, practice the conversation and then you answer the questions, right? para compartir porque no he abierto nada ¿no? ahorita yo solo que yo no puedo compartir porque estoy ah, en el celular espérenme entonces trato de abrir ahorita qué página eh, tita treinta y tres verdad treinta y tres vaya ahorita ya voy ya voy aquí no tengo aquí está ok Ahorita proyecto. Bye. Ahí está. Si gusta, empiece usted. Ok. Bye. The, dish, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for the next for next month. And one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Now you are, ah, no, now I start, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The dishwasher I hired, I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You For cashiers. Uh, performance this month was not to go to go. Some customer complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify this, their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's, let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the service after the training. Okay. Comienzo yo de nuevo. Uh -huh. The dish, the dish, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to the to get from promote promoted. 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 He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. Training. You training. See? Elmer, train, como que si fuera A, training. Training, mm -hmm. opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, teacher. <clears throat> You're welcome. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. 
some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I've seen servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and know and knowledge so we can include include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. Now you can answer the questions. Yeah. They identify their skills and knowledge. And based on that, they are going to include everything they need in the training. Mm -hmm. but, but they never they never answer about the dishwasher training. If you see, mm -hmm. they are talking about the it's the server's training and cashier's training. But the mm -hmm. one who is asking about his, about his training, this washer, they never mention it. It's a, a three, three groups. And the this washer, the servers and cashiers. No, this, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers, but nothing about this washer. <clears throat> Remember, Ana, that he wants to be promoted. Él no quiere aprender a lavar los trastes diferente. Él ya sabe lavar los trastes. Quiere ah, he's asking for promoting. Uh -huh. Exactly. He wants to get to know how to do something else to be promoted. He doesn't want to be the dishwasher all the time, right? As a dishwasher, he doesn't receive a tip as a waiter yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the dishwasher, no, he doesn't receive any tip. Okay. Unless the waiter say he's helping us, let's give him uh, something, right? If no, no, because they don't receive anything. <clears throat> yes, thank you. So we are, uh, we re uh, <laughs> we already answered the questions. You answer the questions, a donde? Uh, who is asking for a promotion? Write your answer. Write. Ah, right, okay. Right. Write the answer. Okay, I am going. Okay, number two. Number two, what did the customer complain? Como capacitation dice, um, dice que Castini, el cajero, uh -huh. y Nesmón. Fíjate, no dice que el Nesmón, que el próximo mes, y, y Juan Ford, Castini. 
que sería cajeros. servers en cashiers. Como, ajá, sería de, de meseros y de, y de cajeros. Sí. Ajá. Son los que recibirán. Ahí te la ticha. <risa> servers en Server. cashiers. Ajá. Servicio y Servicio y cajero. Después, uh -huh. number four, dice, watch Steve, Will, Alex, y, y Rix pay for the train. Uh, ¿Qué paso tomarán Alex y Richard para él? Para ellos mismos. First. Les dice abajo, dice, Rix dice, Lord of Hound in the Forget. We have to evaluate the service and the train. Bueno, pero. Pero. De paso, the, ellos, irán, the ellos, van, ellos son los entrenadores. ¿va? ¿Qué paso se irían mm. de, para, para, la, para el training? First mm -hmm. training, uh, later then. Sería them evaluate. Evalu evaluate. Evaluate after the training. Entonces sería de Alex y Richard is a train. Son los entrenadores. Mm. <risa> Dice que él fue contratado hace un mes y que un mes o unos meses antes. Pero él ya se preguntó si ha dado por el de. Ahorita, espérenme. Oh, very good. You see. I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. <coughs> the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month. And one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes. I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And The yes. dishwashers I hired a month ago want to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes. I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay. Did you answer the questions already? Yes. Yes, teacher. And you didn't write the answers. Mm, the my notebook. Okay. Bueno. 
the number one who is asking for a promotion uh, the dishwasher mm -hmm. the dishwasher is asking for a promotion asking for a promotion me los, me los llevo. okay let's go Okay. <clears throat> um, I need two volunteers to read. Who wants to be Alex? Who wants to be Rick? Me, teacher. Okay, you are who? Alex or Rick? Alex. <clears throat> okay. I have Alex, who wants to be Rick? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You start cutting. Uh, the, me escucha, sí. Yes. The dishwasher I hired a mom, I go wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. Do you see? I want to schedule a server training for the next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can in include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. One more pair, volunteers. Me, teacher. Rodrigo and one volunteer to read with me. Me, teacher. Okay, Grace, go ahead. Who's Alex? Rodrigo, yeah. you're Alex. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. It says the the dishwasher I hired I hired uh, months ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked uh, me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month, and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having, having to wait for too long. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I think the service need a good training. Let's ident identify, identify. Identify. Identify their skills and knowledge. So we can uh, include everything they need in training, in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Nice, 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 excellent. Now let's move here. Who's asking for a promotion? Who's asking for a promotion? This was the dishwasher. 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 The the customer complain about having to wait for too long. Having to wait. Imagine they're in a hurry and you have to wait. To wait and then you have to eat it and your time is. Okay, question. Sorry, not... teacher. Casi no le escucho porque hay como una interferencia de sonido. Sí. 
si sí, hay, hay, un, hay un micrófono abierto. Ok, um, what staff will receive training? What the staff service will receive training? Hmm? Which one? Service and cashier. cashier. Yeah, the servers and cashier. Okay. And what steps will Alex and Rick, and Rick take for the training? Identify their skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First, they will identify the skills and knowledge. First, schedule a server training for our next month. Okay. And one for okay. cashier. Okay, okay. And, and after the training, what will they After do? the identify the skills and, and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, they will evaluate, right? And finally, evaluate the servers. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. If they are doing a good job, if they really learn in the training, because if they didn't learn, they will have to go to another training, right? Before they continue with their job. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Now look at this. Uh, remember we're talking about trainings at your workplace, right? Now tell me, how do you organize training for your staff? How do you organize training? Or if you say teacher, but I do not organize the, the training. Okay, how do you see that your boss or the person in charge in your company it organizes the training for the staff. Okay, number the step, uh, the steps in the correct order. We had analyze the job, decide the skills and knowledge gaps, implement training, identify personal's current skills and knowledge evaluate performance after training and identify training solutions. I'm going to send you to the rooms quickly so you discuss with your partners uh, your decisions, right? And why? Or if you say, well, in my company, they do it like this, man, it works or it doesn't work, it should be done this other way. So you discuss with your partners how they do that in each of the companies. There you go. Try to join. How did you organize training for your staff? Uh, first, we have to prepare a PowerPoint. If we, if we have a, a group with, uh, for example, uh, once month, uh, what the last once, no, a month, el mes pasado, uh, last month, month, uh, I have a training. I have a training in the the like like uh, with the bomberos, the firemen. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The firemen. They they give it, um they give a the slides. They give a the slides with a PowerPoint. Okay, but the this option in the in the book we need to number the step number. Ah, by okay, okay. Uh, first, we have to prepare. First. I think analyze the job. 
Eh, ah, yeah. What do you think? How do you organize training? La página 33. Ah, es 4. Es sí, sorry. Yo me pasé a la tarea 5. <laughs> oh, okay. otro How do okay. you organize training for your staff? Number uh -huh. the staff in the correct order. Se las estoy compartiendo. Ah, perdón, Rosy, que cuando estoy en el libro no se ve. Okay. Um, para mí sería. Analyze the job. Como es organizarse y por qué está. Number one, analyze the job. No sería sí. identif no, I, <laughs> identify. No, hay. Hay training ¿Qué? solution. Mm. No, porque ahí sería identificar un entrenamiento de solución. No. ¿Qué piensa usted, Rosy? Analyze the job, maybe. Uh -huh. Analyze oh, yeah. the job first. And the uh -huh. second, identify personal current skills and knowledge. And knowledge. Eh, number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ay, Dios, abuelo. Vaya. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué piensan si la dos es identify personal current skills and knowledge? Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Number three. Entonces sería design skill and knowledge. Gap. Uh -huh. For implement training. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. O oh, identify. But the first he analyze the job. Uh -huh. La to identify personal current skill and knowledge. Number three. Uh -huh. Espérame, que le estoy anotando por acá. La segunda me dijo, eh, Barluy. No. Number two, identify. Identify personnel. Sí, identify. 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 Personnel. Uh -huh. Number three, beside skill. As knowledge gaps. Number four. Identify training solution. I I talk to my boss for for the documents, uh, for the documents and today. They send the documents, and I hope. To... But you are going to. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, 
Uh, so I think so that it could be the way to training, organize training your staff, but I don't know. Teacher, we think we finish. Excellent. Bueno, you will explain your reasons. <gasps> no, teacher. Diego is going to explain. <laughs> <laughs> that you're going to explain you our reason. Explain your reason. Hasta nervioso. Se puso, dicho. Sí. Nah. He's nervous. <laughs> I would want to listen to Diego today. <gasps> oh my God. A request of the teacher. A teacher yeah. request. <laughs> today, we want to listen to Diego. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tiene una cara, teacher. Sí, qué barbaridad, Diego. ¿Qué es eso? Mucho se desvela, vea, teacher, quizás. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. teacher. Eh, vengo, en, vengo en moto, me mojé. <laughs> La edad, vea, teacher, ya influye mucho yes. también. That's terrible. <laughs> Teacher, I have a little question. Tell me. Next week we're gonna finish this module. Modulo se dice. Module. Sí. Module. So we're gonna have, I think, so for the because the last experiences that we have that we're gonna have two weeks for the next. Level. No idea. What I read, Adriana, is that uh -huh. they are saying that if you haven't sent the documents, you on have Friday. Friday to send them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But are we gonna start a, the week next on vacation for August, August, or before in July, on July? No, I have no idea out there. Uh -huh, because I, 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 I was I was thinking that we're going to have a, a August vacation. So uh, uh -huh. that's my big question that if we're gonna start before vacation or no, I don't after think, vacation. I don't think so. I think it will be after vacation. After vacation. Uh -huh, because okay. we finish on the 19th. Ah, exactly. So we're going to have a sí. long vacation. No, no. No long, no. Yes, teacher. Okay. Almost three weeks. Almost no. three. No, no, no. Yes, teacher. Yeah, the yes. three days of that, of this, uh, of the week we finished. See, sí, see, sí, see. Sí. Two weeks. Almost three weeks. Almost. Sí. That's weeks. what I'm saying that we're going to have a long vacation. See, sí, I'm going to send you a link for you to continue studying. So you don't what you have learned. Teacher, I, 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 I really, I really hate that when the, the content of the class, uh, for me is interesting. Uh -huh. I cannot be on the class yes. because yesterday I, 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 medio escuché, ¿cómo se diría eso? You listen. Uh -huh. I listen that uh, we have learning about new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Yo, ahí yo estaba como que puchica, o sea, quisiera estar ahí, ¿verdad? Directamente, <risa> pero era mentira, y era ahí, así que no. Uh -huh. Pero igual, pero sí, aquí estamos. Diego has been absent some days when I explain grammar. Yes. And true. that's why he was asking me about teacher and the grammar. You don't explain grammar, but yes. When I explain grammar, Diego is absent. But that Diego. Sí, es que hay días que nos toca bien pesado ahí yeah, en el no, punk. I know. But remember that you can go watch the video, right? If you cannot be fully, fully in class that day, you can go watch yes. the video. So you can like refresh and not lose totally. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's a good yeah. I know. tool. I know. It's a good tool. Yeah. I know sometimes it's not easy. I know. Yes. 
but in that case, that's what you can do. You can go back to the to the book or to the to the to the platform and watch. Yes, that that was what we were talking about with Karen in the last uh, group. That uh -huh. sometimes is very difficult because we have to to work and so we have to run for the house and stay at class at eight. It's very difficult, but it's necessary because mm -hmm. if you want to continue growing up. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I know, I know I have, I have mm -hmm. studied, I have studied while working and I know it's not easy. Teacher, I, I really, really, really admire that people that work and study at the same time. I really admire it's that. It's not easy. I yeah. I first I, I took my professorado I got my professorado and I was I was working I was working mm -hmm. as a secretary while I was studying at the university for my professorado and then mm -hmm. I stopped for a couple of years when I had my I got married I got I had got my it. babies they were growing so mm -hmm. later on when they were in high school I went back to the university to do the licenciatura and the same, I was working as a teacher and, and going to the university to study the licenciatura. And then, well, I think yeah, it, it's, I took a day, mm -hmm. I, that was only one year in the middle, uh, but in that year I took a MOOC, I took a lot of uh, workshops, small workshops, right? And then- a MOOC. What is a MOOC? MOOC is, uh, those are capacitations uh, that you can get online, but they mm. are on a specific topic. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So later oh, okay. on, I started with the master's degree, but that was online. So it was easier because I could make my schedule, right? Basically at night after 9 p.m., I finished, I used to finish classes at 7.30. And then I came home at 8 p.m. And mm -hmm. I had dinner. And after that, I took my time to study, uh, to do home. And you have to, to, to attend your kids and your husband. And papers to prepare classes and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the pandemic came. And we started uh, uh, with the children working 24-7 online. Mm -hmm. And I was still taking my master's degree online. So I was 24-7 I was in the computer. Yeah, from, Monday, from Monday to Sunday. So, yeah. And sometimes I was traveling and I was reading the material in the cell phone because they, you, I had to use the, the time that I Teacher, had. I cannot make that. You know, I, when I read and I go in a car, I have a headache. I don't know why, but I, got, I have. I got used to do that. Mm -hmm. I was at the university studying the professorado. Then I learned to travel by bus. You have to. <laughs> so uh -huh. I was in the bus and I was uh, reading, reading the separatas and everything. So uh -huh. I have practice <laughs> uh, in reading in the car or eating in the car, drinking. Yeah. The so yeah, the after many <laughs> Yeah, it's it's very very difficult, and I really admire that people that work and study yeah. because. But it's possible. You yes. Discipline yourself, mm -hmm. and it's possible. Yes, exactly. And let's go, vamos, Nucha. Okay, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Karen, Karen. Okay, we are back. <laughs> ready, ready. I want to uh, I want to listen to volunteers. Or victims. 
the first is uh, the first is uh, analyze the job. Uh, for you, analyze. For me, uh -huh. Uh -huh. analyze the job. Uh, second is. Second, uh, second desire skill and knowledge graph. Yes. Number three. And number three, identify personal current skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, four, identify training solution. For five, implement training. Uh -huh, implement training. And six, evaluate perform after training. Finally, evaluate performance after training. Okay, evaluate performance. Okay, why? Why did you give this order, Rodrigo? Oh, well. Why disorder? Por qué, por qué? Do you have a reason for that order? Yeah. Okay, uh, tell me, do you have a reason for that order, Rodriguez? Yes. Uh, oh. Yes, because we have to analyze the job first. Okay. Uh, second, we, we have to decide what what we have to do it. Uh, it, uh, I think uh, the number two, for my opinion, is uh, identity. If I personal current skills and knowledge, and number three, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Mm -hmm. Vamos a cambiarle color. A ver, what is your order, eh, Edwin? Uh, number one is okay. Uh, number two is identify. Personal scoring skills and knowledge. Number three, decide the skills and knowledge gaps. Number four, identify training solutions. Mm -hmm. Five, implementing training. And six, evaluate. Okay. So you would change only number two and three. Yes. The, uh, identify the personal scoring skills and knowledge, and then decide skills and knowledge gaps. Yes. What do you understand by decide skills and knowledge gaps? I I understand the um, different uh, the difference in the the personal having your. Uh, knowledge with the required in the job. Mm -hmm. What are gaps? Brecha. Brecha o espacios. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think it would be the difference between the things that you need and the things that you make in the process. Mm -hmm. See, it says that a knowledge gap is the difference between the information an employee knows versus what their organization needs them to know. 
¿Sí? Que sabe con qué es lo que mi organización necesita que él sepa. ¿Ya? That's a knowledge gap. ¿Ya? Ok. So, do you agree with this change? Identify personal scoring skills first. Yes, teacher. Me and too, then... I agree with Edwin, Mauricio. Okay. So, what do they know? What skills do they have? And then you make decisions, right? A ver. Uh, I know Adriana knows how to answer the phone, but I need that she knows how to answer the phone in English. Okay, so let's send her for a for a workshop or a set of workshops for her to learn to speak English, right? So that would be, I identify her skills, she knows how to answer the phone correctly. She has the knowledge that is necessary for you to answer the phone. It's not, it's not easy. It's not easy, right? And you have to know how to answer. And when you get to a company, they tell you to answer the phone one way and another person tells you to answer the phone in a different way. I was working with a lawyer and I remember he said, Soily, never say my name. Never say uh, the name of the place where the people are calling. So just answer, just answer the phone saying, good afternoon, how can I help you? While I had learned that I had to say the name of the company, good afternoon, da -da 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 -da, the name of the company, and then how can I help, right? But from one place to another, the knowledge is different, right? Or what you have to do, what you have to know. So first we identify the skills and the knowledge people have. Then now I know the knowledge they have. Okay, I decide that they need to know this, uh, but they don't know this. They know something different, okay? I make a decision on how to work with the situation of the caps, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. And then you identify training solutions. Is that okay? Yes. yes. What are the situations that my training is going to solve? Am I going to give a training just because it is necessary to give a training? Or am I looking for solving something? See? Sometimes uh, companies give a lot of trainings, but a lot of trainings. And they forget this. And they give you trainings on something that you know already, right? And they forget about this. Uh, the solution that the training has to be solving something. Once you identify what the training is going to solve, okay, now let's go to implement it. Okay. Why, and this is an open question, why <clears throat> do you think it's necessary to evaluate the performance after the training? Why? Mm -hmm. To verify if the training was, was good? Uh-huh. If the training was good, what about if the training is good, but the employee? The, the results of the training uh -huh. Uh -huh. that I hope. Because what about the, if the training is good, but the employee was not so interested in the training and didn't pay attention? 
because that may happen, right? Mm -hmm. But the employees learn the process in the work. Exactly. The purpose of evaluating is to check if now the employee learn. Okay. Remember, we said that we are identifying the problems. We're checking the gaps. What the employee knows, what the employee needs to know. Uh -huh. But after the training, does the employee know what he has to know for the company or no? Yeah, that's why the evaluation is very important. Does the, the company know? Mahana, tell me. The company uh, can decide if one of the or some personnel get getting better or they are improving their skills. So maybe they can promote. They promoting the personnel. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. So they make a this. They make decisions. Remember, this evaluate this evaluation can be used to make decisions or to make to make decisions for good or for bad uh, for the employee, right? So to make decisions for improving the the employee's position or for leaving the employee go away to another company. Yes. Because what they tell you is, I'm so sorry, we have to leave you go, right? It, because the performance was not expected. So it's not, this gap was not fulfilled. So what do you know, what you need to know for my company? But you took the training, looking for a solution and you continue giving the same performance, right? So in that case, that's why the evaluation is so important. So it's not just like, okay, you were there in the training, at, uh -huh, but did you learn? What did you learn? Yeah, and that's what you demonstrate here. This is the moment to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. I was watching a, a video about butlers. You know what are butlers? No? Los, eh, ay, ¿cómo se llama? In the hotels, you have eh, people that are not waiters. They are like, oh my God, I don't remember the word in Spanish. Oh! That happens. No. No. We. Oui. I for, I forgot the Spanish. <laughs> but these are people who serve in hotels, but they serve like a, in in those very sophisticated hotels. And especially in England, right? They use a lot of butlers. So they train them on how to serve. Uh, to the to the to the person who they have to serve how to take the food right how to take the drinks the way or what is the side that they have to go on and, and serve and everything and at the uh it's very funny how they have to practice and they have to uh, to demonstrate that they can dominate the way they are walking and carrying the things uh, with them and how they are getting to, to, to serve to the person that without dropping the, the, the dishes or the drinks or without throwing the drink to the person when they are serving. Even to know what, in what side they have to stand up and serve how they have to walk, how they have to stand up. So all those things are taken into account in a training, right? Okay, any questions, any comments so far? 
-hmm. A ver, in your company, when you receive a training, do they evaluate your performance after the training? Yes. Yes, teacher. How? The boss always expected a expect a best performance, mm -hmm. and they have the parents com comment comment commentarios comments comments. Uh -huh. And they send an e online evaluation. So always, always they do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see, th there is a difference between all the rest of the employees who evaluates you is your boss, right? But for the teacher, who evaluates the teacher is the children and the parents. Mm -hmm. We have more eyes over, <laughs> right? So, but that's how it works because they are the ones who really see the teacher working. Okay, any questions here so far? Questions? No? Nice. No, no nice. question, teacher. Question. Perfect. Can we go to sleep now? Yes, a few minutes. Okay, let's, <laughs> I know that's the question you want to ask me, right? Can we go to sleep now? Yeah, in two minutes, you can run to sleep. Let me see, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. No hay Carlos Josué. David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Elda. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gemma Carolina. Gemma. No Gemma. Jessica Lisset. Jessica. Oh, Jessica no está. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Lisset Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. No, verdad, no está. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Ok, Ana Grisel me toca hoy. Uh -huh. Well, see you. See you, see you tomorrow. See you, bye. Bye, bye. bye everybody. Bye. 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 Good night. Enjoy your night and sleep well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you, see you. Hi, Elmer. Teacher, good night. Good night. Good night.
Thank <clears throat> you. 